it is more like if you were lowered into some kind of barrel, into a barrel with some jello, or into a barrel with some kind of gel, where you do not sink, but do not float to the top, reaches almost above the waist. That is, it can even be to the chest, and this is exactly the essence of levitation. When you are free, when you are flying above the ground, this is some kind of bliss. Dear friends, I am glad to welcome you. Today we have a very interesting topic. The topic is called Notes on Levitation. I think it will be an interesting issue, maybe a series of issues. Danila is in the studio with us. Danila, hello. Hello, Ernst. What would you like to talk about today? In fact, I will say that the initiator of this conversation was, of course, Danila, because he is extremely interested in this topic and he is trying to find out what a person feels, how it feels. Therefore, today I am at your service. And Danila is the host. Let's go. Ernst, well, yes. Instead of doing levitation, I'm trying to find out about levitation. Absolutely right. Well, I, who does not know, I am very slow in my routine, but I am moving on this topic. It is very, very interesting, really, for me. I really got Ernst out here today in order to ask him a little about such a topic as human levitation. There are still a lot of questions left on this topic. If you like this heading, then like this video and write. Write in the comments in capital letters, I like it, the exclamation mark. If we collect these comments, well, at least, at least, at least from 30 people and better 50, we will continue to shoot this series. This is a new series, a new heading, Notes on Levitation. Ernst, well, let's get started. The first question, and probably the only one for today, for the pilot series, what does a person feel when he rises in the air? Does he feel weightlessness or does he feel something else? Because a lot of haters write in the comments that you are doing a fake levitation, that you are balancing on something, and you have to change the gravity, you have to eliminate the gravity around you. Your hair should be raising into the air, of course, and that's it. That is, it seems extremely funny, but still, what does a person feel? In fact, to understand what a person feels during levitation, and to feel this information flow, you must first understand what levitation is. Levitation is not the absence of gravity, it is balancing on a piece of air. That is, you balance on a certain energy. And this is an extremely important difference between the absence of gravity for example, in space, when a person cannot direct himself directly, if, for example, he does not have any vector of motion, then in space you, for example, will not move. For example, you need to push off something from the wall to fly in the other direction. And during this movement, you will not be able to change your direction. That is, in space, everyone flies in a straight line. Therefore, if you compare space levitation, that is weightlessness, and real levitation, then there is a huge difference. In real levitation, you establish a connection between your double, who knows, who goes to my courses, he knows what a double is, and the energy on which you balance. And since we have two points, then in accordance with Newton's third law, we can push off and accordingly redirect our movements. That is, for the force of action, there is an equal and opposite force of reaction. Accordingly, if we push off, we can go in one direction or the other, and at the same time, our hair absolutely does not show that they are in weightlessness. That is, we are working here with absolutely the same laws of physics, but we go a little further and we can focus on energy levels. It is precisely the work on energy levels that has a very big difference from simple weightlessness. And what a person feels at this moment is a certain lightness. That is, when you walk on the ground, you feel your weight. You feel that you have shoulders, for example. If you have big shoulders, if you have a big belly, if you have big legs, you feel this weight. When you levitate, you stop feeling. You are like in some water in which there is a very large concentration of salt for example, like the Dead Sea in Israel, only maybe a little less, where you can still easily adjust your body state. And you feel lightness, you launch from the ground. 
and at this moment lightness occurs not only in physics, but also in the soul. That is, you feel inside, in the area of your fourth chakra, where in principle, according to many, the soul is located, you feel a certain lightness. And levitation has a very good preventive effect for those people who suffer from depression, who suffer from bad moods. Because at this moment you are free from all earthly tethers, leaving the earth, creating a distance between yourself and the earth, and not using any means of movement, such as an airplane, a helicopter, but exactly on your own, you accumulate a lot of energy of the seventh chakra, you accumulate a lot of cosmic spiritual energy, it just flows through you, and it's hard to describe. In fact, it's a magical feeling when you are really in the air. You feel something supernatural. You feel superior, that you can, at least for a couple of minutes, at least for a couple of meters, become above the laws of physics. Although, as I said, in principle, the same laws of physics, but a little further, a little higher. In fact, happiness. You really feel some happiness, bliss, lightness. Only with such feelings I can describe levitation. Therefore, I would recommend to every person to try this at least once in their life. Ernst, if we move away from the psychological descriptions, or rather, from the psychological but focus on the physical. It turns out that this is some kind of floating in a liquid gel, something like that. Well, yes, in principle, what I wanted to say, if water, for example, has a very high salt concentration, it becomes like a gel. But again, here you have complete control over your body. For those who, for example, at least once swam in the Dead Sea, have you ever been to Israel in the Dead Sea or not? No, unfortunately I have not been there. Well, if you are there, you will roughly understand what levitation means in the terrestrial conditions, that is, without training. You absolutely do not feel any heaviness, that is, your body soars. About the same here. Indeed, you are in a certain ether, and this ether carries you further. But again, for this you must understand that in some places the energy supports you, in some you lose energy, and in this case, it is you. That is, in order to lift yourself, you need to use quite a lot of energy, and the loss of this energy, or the waste of this energy, is felt after. That is, when you concentrate, when you are prepared, that is, you take off, you feel lightness, you feel some kind of relief from the worldly tethers, but when you land, you feel how much energy you have spent, and this energy has to be restored again later. Therefore, let's say, why do they ask me, for example, why you never fly there just like that, in the city somewhere? In fact, it is much more taxing. That is, you know, it's like throwing a hundred dollar bill into the campfire for heat. It's more expensive. Therefore, there is no such thing that, with the help of levitation, you can replace everyday things in life. No, this is some kind of proof to yourself that you can do something that others cannot. When you feel this, you become proud of yourself. I do not recommend anyone to boast, because boasting is not a good thing at all. Therefore, I usually do it myself, so that no one sees, so that there are no people around. Well, at most my cameraman, because I do it for myself. You know, a person who is happy, he is usually happy only for himself. He is not trying to show his happiness to others. He is trying to enjoy it. And this is exactly the essence of levitation. When you are free, when you are flying above the ground, this is some kind of bliss. Well, probably the last question on today's pilot issue. Does a person feel being in this gel, let's call it gel, does he feel that piece of air under his foot, that energy layer that we rely on during levitation, or not? No. It is not quite under the foot. If you notice in my videos, and in other videos, the legs are bent. That is, if this is compared to something, now I will give a little basic example. 
it is more like if you were lowered into some kind of barrel, into a barrel with some jello, or into a barrel with some kind of gel, where you do not sink, but do not float to the top, that is, you are staying at some point, the energy in principle reaches almost above the waist, that is, it can even be to the chest, that is, the energy grabs you, starting from the knees and almost to the chest, therefore it cannot be said that we are leaning, otherwise the legs would look completely different, the person would stand, the legs would not be pressed, but it is said that he stands directly, this is not true, you balance, you start with this balance, and then, as soon as you push away from it, the energy should go up and grab you, you know, like a huge belt. This is the balance, it is not felt directly under the foot, under the foot. Therefore, do not be confused, please. That is, in fact, roughly speaking, this jelly is not so dense that it is, well, in fact, it is a balance in a jelly, a balance in a certain gel that rises. On air, you can say, the balance is on air. Yes, on air it sounds not esoteric. Although there may be a new name, esoteric jelly. Esoteric jelly. Well, yes, I understand, I understand. That is, there is no dense, dense, clear pillow under the feet. This is rather a pillow, it is generally in the whole lower part of the body. If we compared it with a pillow, then I would say it is a wrap around a blanket starting from the knees and to the chest. This is the feeling, and this energy you can already balance, because otherwise all the legs would be absolutely straight. They would stand on their feet. No one does this. No one has done it so far. At least that I have seen that someone is really standing directly on a very concentrated piece of air. Therefore this is probably impossible. I understand, Ernst. Well. My questions for today are over, my friends. I remind you again, if you like this series, and we have a lot of videos prepared here, then firstly, send this video to your friends. It will be very interesting. The content is absolutely unique. In the literal sense of the word, there is no such content, neither on the Russian internet nor in the world, nowhere, not in books. Therefore, this is the first thing. And the second, write in the comments below if you like this series in the literal sense of the word. When we will collect a lot of these comments, we will continue. We will see that you are interested. Friends, thank you for your attention. I hope today's video was quite interesting. Do not forget to write comments, subscribe, send this video to your friends. Stay with us and follow our channel. We will have a lot of interesting things. See you soon, friends.